Well, seven months ago on March 31, the then leader of the federal opposition, Anthony Albanese, stood up in parliament to deliver his prepared budget reply speech. The election was due to be called any day, so this was in some ways Albanese's manifesto to take to the electorate. It was telling that he included aged care. This industry is a convenient political football. Reliant on the goodwill and compassion of mostly church-run organisations, it is perennially underfunded and ripe for emotional exploitation. Albanese didn't fudge the opportunity. There are chilling stories of unforgivable neglect, he said. Maggots in people's wounds, people going for days without a shower or a change of clothes, and people lying on the floor of retirement villages yelling in pain. The staff are underpaid while the operators are making a fortune. Quote, Older Australians fear that the final chapter of their life will be an aged care facility where they are not properly cared for, let alone afforded real dignity. It goes against everything we are, at, we are as Australians, Albanese concluded. Actually, that's just the start of it. It's not often discussed, but the aged care industry as a concept should also go against everything we stand for as Australians. The residents in these aged care facilities are the people who cared for us as infants, our parents. Some of the places they are shunted off to are beyond depressing. Are old people really so deplorable that they need to be sent to places that look like low security prisons to wait to die? The Simpsons TV show parodied it with the retirement castle Grandpa Simpson lived in, which had a sign on the wall saying, thank you for not discussing the outside world, and where Homer, Marge, Bart and Lisa visited only reluctantly. It was satire, but only just. There's little joy in working out how to fund these places. They are already expensive. Expenditure by the federal government was about 1% 1 1 of GDP in 2018-19. By comparison, defence is only a little over twice that, at 2.1%. The OECD average for aged care, however, is 2.5%. These subsidies don't prevent these facilities costing families an absolute fortune. So what did Albo promise and has he delivered? Well, he promised five things. Employ nurses for every nursing home. Increase the, the carer resident ratio. Give carers a pay rise, raise food nutrition standards and increase accountability. These are mostly a response to the Royal Commission to Aged Care Quality and Safety, which delivered its report last year.